A servlet and a Java server page are very similar in one way, and in another way they are the opposite of one another. A servlet is a Java class that contains some HTML code. It runs on the server and produces a page of HTML code that's returned as a response to a request from a browser. A Java server page, also known as a JSP, is a page of HTML that contains some Java code. It's automatically translated into a Java class that runs on the server and produces a page of HTML code, and that's returned as a response to a request from a browser. They do the same thing, but they've got different ways of doing it. HTML code, you know, it's the text format of a web page. That's what your browser expects back when it makes a request for information from a server. The HTML returned to the browser can be a simple static page that's stored on the server site, or it can be something that's dynamically produced in response to the request. The servlet and the JSP are nothing more than the methods of dynamically generating HTML to be sent back to the browser. And don't confuse these with an applet. That's a different thing altogether. An applet is a Java program that's loaded over the internet into a web browser, and it runs inside the web browser and displays things in a window. A servlet is a Java program. It's really no more complicated than that. You compile it into a class file and store that class file on the server. Now the web server knows about these servlets and recognizes the name of one when it comes in as a request. It cranks up Java, runs the servlet class file. The servlet will produce output that is assumed to be what the web browser was requesting. At any rate, it's this output that's returned to the browser. If you've done any web programming, you may recognize this as a CGI program. They can be written in Perl or other scripting languages, but the whole purpose of a CGI program is to output an HTML page that can be viewed by a browser. This is a quite simple thing to do, actually. Overall, JSP is much more flexible. You write a Java server page as a regular HTML page, but embedded in the HTML is some Java code. Well, the browser doesn't know how to read all of this and translate it into a viewable page, so all of that happens on the server side. The Java inside the web page is executed and its output is added to the page. The Java code is deleted and the resulting page is sent to the browser. The process for doing this is a bit involved, but that's the server's problem. Your problem is to correctly write the page and the Java code that's embedded into it and I'll be showing you how to do that. If you've done any web programming, you may recognize this as being very like PHP. The difference is that Java is a much more robust language, and the page generation code can be much more sophisticated. But, like always, with this sophistication come some complications. And you can do just about anything you'd like, but you've got to remember all the rules.